we're going to take a look at an option that you have when you're dealing with a solid model. And this is called layout. And this allows you to create a multi-view drawing from a solid model. Now to access this function, you can come into your solids manager and right click solids layout. Another way to access it would be from the main menu and again from your solid menu and all the way down here at the bottom, solid layout. I'm going to select it. And the first thing you're able to do is to select the paper size that you're going to be using. And depending upon the size of your model, you would choose the standard blueprint paper size that would accommodate it. This is a small part, so I'm going to leave it at an A size. Notice it puts in the size of the paper right here. If I selected a B size, it'll change. So this way I know what size the paper is when I'm making my selection. Here's where I select my orientation, whether I'd like it to be a portrait or landscape layout. With this untoggle, it'll lay out my multi-views within the boundaries of this 11 by 8 and a half area. If I wanted to load in a border template, that will load in a pre-designed border template that has a title block in it. I'm going to go ahead and let it do that. I can allow hidden lines or suppress them. I can choose a scale factor if I wanted to scale it down onto a smaller piece of paper than what the model actually is. And down over here is where I select my views. I can choose a four view or a three view or user defined and I can put the numeric value of each view. In my four view I can choose what views I want. If I want bottom, front, left isometric or top, front, right isometric. Same thing with my three view. Bottom, front, left, top, front, right. I'm going to leave it here for my top, front, right isometric and click OK. What it's now doing is giving me a choice to put this new geometry that's about to be created onto a separate level. And this is a really good idea because the geometry that's about to be created is not necessarily the geometry that you're going to be using for toolpaths. So you want to be able to isolate it and get it off your graphics area when it comes time for toolpathing. And one of the easiest ways to do it would be just put it all on a separate level and then this way you can make it visible or invisible. I'm going to go ahead and just choose level 100 and label it layout. I'm going to click OK and you'll see that from my solid model it's created four views. Now these are the hidden lines. If I didn't want these I'm going to reset it. I would go suppress and click OK and now you can see that it has no hidden lines back in here. For right now I'm going to keep these Now the thing is, is I can make all kinds of adjustments to this as long as this window is open. Once I accept this, it locks it in and you can't go back. There's no undo on this. You would have to go back and delete what you don't want. I'm going to go to my top view and then just kind of zoom in here. It loaded this outer border template for me and it's got the title block, but one of my views is infringing on the title block. So I would like to get this to move up and one of the things that you can do to try to keep your drawing neat is to align one view with another so that things look orderly. I'm going to click align and I'm going to pick a target destination. What I want to do is I want to line this bottom corner up with maybe you know a spot up over here. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. This is my target. Then I'm going to come over here and pick what I want to align it to. And you'll see how it transfers it up. I'm going to click Align again. Now I'm going to make this bottom corner my target and I'm going to align this bottom corner with it. Now I can put notes or anything else that I'd like down here. I'll click OK. I'm going to go into my Levels Manager. I'm going to make Level 100 my main level. Turn off my solid. Click OK. And kind of zoom in here. And now I can go in and I can start putting my dimensions on my model.